This video will cover structural analysis of a bell crank. We are bringing in a static structural on the project schematic. Now, let's link the topology optimization module to the static structural module. Let's import the bell crank onto the geometry and open mechanical. In real life a spring will be connected to this face so we are adding a ground to body connection. Add these following values as indicated on the screen. Make sure it is parallel to the x-axis. The level of mesh resolution will be dependent on the smallest features that we want to optimize. For this case, we can change the default element size to 2 mil. Make sure the adaptive sizing option is turned off. And let's change the maximum size to 2 mil. Add a face sizing of 1 mil to these faces and generate the mesh. Then, we can add a cylindrical support to the pivot. Let the support be free in the tangential direction to allow rotation. Applying the relevant loads to the actuator is shown. Let's add equivalent von Mises stress and solve the model. The warning message comes about because there is no fixed support in our model but in real life, the top of the spring constrains motion in all the directions. As we can see, there is a lot of region which has not been utilized and thus one of the ways to get rid of excess material is topology optimization. Part 2 will cover topology optimization and reverse engineering.